Tonight, Kentucky lawmakers prepared to enter a special session at the call of Governor Andy Bashir. With cases riving across the Commonwealth and the governor's powers recently limited by a state Supreme Court decision, he says the burden to balance the lives and deaths of Kentuckians now falls on the General Assembly. Tonight, the WHS 11 Night Team's Tom Lally spoke with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle on what to expect from the session. Yeah, Shay, the governor said Kentucky should have a statewide mask mandate right now. Both the lawmakers I spoke with said that's not likely to come from this session. Instead, they say we could see decision making powers passed down further to local governments and school districts. On August 21st, the Kentucky Supreme Court unanimously decided Republican backed laws weakening the governor's power would stand, instead putting the responsibility of emergency power on the General Assembly. They'll have to carry much of that weight to confront unpopular choices and to make decisions that balance many things, including the lives and the possible deaths of our citizens. Saturday, the governor officially called for a special session, pushing lawmakers to utilize that new power. He's asking legislature to extend his state of emergency until January 15th, give school districts more COVID response options, and allow him to reinstate a mask mandate. If I had the ability to do it right now, um, we would have a masking order when you are in public and indoors. Louisville's Republican representative Kevin Bratcher says that is not I likely. It. I don't see how a statewide mask mandate is going to stay in place. Instead, he says he hopes to further distribute decision making power away from what he calls a one size fits all approach. There might be some issues in Paducah or Pikeville that are different. And so those areas should be able to tackle those issues as they see fit. Across the aisle, for Senator Gerald Neal, this hits close to home. Look, I'm I'm a victim of COVID. You know, I almost lost my life to it. I understand it. I can't tell you how sensitive I am to it. While he argues decision-making power should have stayed with the governor, he's hopeful the special session will accomplish a few things, like flexibility for school districts when it comes to calendars and virtual learning days, and extending the state of emergency. And I trust that they will rise to the occasion. Because if I don't, then I ought to go home. Both lawmakers telling me they're open to compromise, but nothing is for sure, so we'll have to wait and see. The special session starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. in Frankfurt. We'll bring you continuing coverage throughout the day and here on the night team. Shay.